Hi, I'm Stephen Levy. I'm the Managing Director of Heath Outdoors and today we're going to be talking about the shadow range of heaters. Okay, the first and most noteworthy thing of all the shadow ranges that includes the standard shadow and the XTs is they've got the latest design of ultra low glare lamps in them. Ultra low glare technology is something that all uh, heater manufacturers now are aspiring to. It was actually developed by our manufacturers um, and is simply a coating put on the outside of a standard lamp which reduces the light output but doesn't affect the heat output of the, of the lamp itself. So you can expect from this type of heater to get the same amount of heat but 95% less light. Now what that means in a normal setting is instead of turning the whole area bright red in the evenings when you're sitting having a quiet cup of coffee or a glass of wine outside, um, you, you can rely on your normal light or your ambient lighting to give you the right atmosphere and mood and the heater is doing what the heater's meant to do and that's keeping you warm. Uh, again, as with all heaters in the shadow range, we have our easy fit lamps. This is again completely unique to shadow heaters. It means that we can take a lamp out of a unit like this in a matter of a couple of minutes, swap in a new one. On a standard heater, you're looking at half an hour of, of an engineer or electrician coming along, removing it from the wall and stripping it down to its component parts. With a shadow heater, virtually anybody can do it. It takes five or 10 minutes and you can do it with a heater left, left in situ. So let's have a look at the shadow range. Firstly, the colors. You've got anodized aluminum, white aluminum, black aluminum. In terms of sizes, we've now got four different variations in the power output of the units. So these single units have got 1.5 or 2 kilowatt lamps in them. The double units have got the same 1.5 or 2 kilowatt lamps, which means they're either a 3 kilowatt or a 4 kilowatt unit. Moving on to the control system. As I said earlier, some of these are remote, some of them are standard. With a remote unit, which is by far the most popular, each one comes with a handset like this, and it has five different heat settings on it to turn the unit up and down. Simply turn the unit on, and you'll notice the heat comes on at one level first, and then you get on to maximum. That's done deliberately. It's called a soft start system. It prolongs the life of the lamp, um, and it also stops an uh, electrical surge created on your, uh, on your system. So the heater's on, it's generating lots of lovely heat, and I can then use the controls on here to turn it up and down and get it to a setting where I'm comfortable. On the back of the heater is a hinge, so I can adjust the heater, and normally I've got it low here so I can demonstrate it to you, but normally you'd have it something like this at 45 degrees and mounted at about 2.3 metres high, and that's going to give you a, a nice even spread, pushing something like 3 metres from the wall to wherever your, you or your guests are sitting. Inside the shadow heater is a parabolic reflector. Now, that's a really special component, and it's not something you can easily see. But if you look at the, from the right angle at the front here, it looks like there's multiple heaters going on. You can't just see the one bar, you can see a whole series. And the special thing about a parabola is whatever angle the light hits it from, be, from the behind, it'll always come out forwards. And that means that you get a really even spread of heat. The majority of heaters on the market don't have any kind of reflector at all, they actually just rely on the metal of the back of the unit to push the heat out. And what that means is A, you're not maximizing it like you would with a really, really shiny surface. And B, the heat comes out in, in terms, you get a, a really, really concentrated area of heat, and then maybe at this angle you get no heat at all, and then maybe pointing up towards the sky you get another really concentrated beam. So a parabolic reflector is really important to give you a balanced amount of heat, and then to have a really, really shiny surface like a mirror is essential to really pump it out. If I just draw your attention to this heater here, you can see what I mean about having a polished reflector. It really is important. All the shadow range are IPX5. Now that's a really important number, that five on the end, it means that they are rated for outdoor use. An electrician is only allowed to mount something outdoors if it has an IP rating of four or above. Most heaters have an IP rating of 4, the shadow range have an IP rating of 5, and that means not only are they shower proof, but they're actually, um, they're actually protected from water coming in from all directions. So if you have them in a particularly wet environment, water can even be coming upwards or from a hose pipe when it's turned on, you'll find the heaters are absolutely fine, no damage at all. 
Right, so much to our film producer's dismay, I'm now going to attempt to uh, demonstrate quite how waterproof these heaters are. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn this up to maximum heat. I'll talk to you for a few seconds whilst it's generating that heat and making sure we're at full glare. Now I have here water, it's perfectly normal water. If someone substitutes it with alcohol, I'm in problems. And, uh, and I can put it straight onto the lamp there and you'll see it does no damage at all. You can do this with a hose pipe. It's quite remarkable. And that is because we're using a really, really specialist quartz glass. Uh, with normal glass, of course, the heat from the glass and then putting water on it, it'll shatter. But with these units, nothing like that's going to happen. It's completely waterproof all over. You can't damage it. Leave it out in the snow, turn it on in the snow. Shadow heater. It's a mainstay in the marketplace. It's probably the most popular heater in the UK today. And you'll find it in commercial premises and gardens all over the UK.